Stand, please. I rode the pain down, got off and looked up, looked into your eyes. The lost open windows all around, my dark heart lit up the sky. may be seated. Let's pray. Oh God, we thank you for your presence among us today on this joyous occasion. As Amanda Elizabeth and Mark Allen give themselves to each other, we pray that they might also give themselves to you offering their shared life in service to your will. In the quietness of these sacred moments, 
we remember that you planted the seeds of love in the human heart. And now, as Amanda and Mark stand before you and their friends, we affirm the love that has brought them together. Amen. 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 On behalf of Mark and Amanda, I welcome all of you to this place, to this moment when Amanda and Mark express their love for each other and their desire to live as husband and wife. You are their friends and their family, the ones they love, and your presence here demonstrates your friendship and your love. Amanda and Mark have not come today to get married. The two of them have already recognized what we as family and friends also recognize, that a marriage does, in fact, already exist. For some time, they've experienced a union of mind and emotion, a shared commitment to common ideals, and a longing for the public recognition of this united spirit. So today, we gather in this place, in the sight of God and these witnesses, to affirm a marriage, to pronounce upon this union the blessing of Jesus Christ, and to send Amanda and Mark forth as husband and wife. Falling in love starts as a temporary madness. Flowers appear on the earth. The seasons of singing arrives. It erupts and then subsides. But real love is not the breathlessness, it is not the excitement, it is not the promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. It is bearing with one another with all humility and gentleness and with patience, bearing with one another in love. It is when your roots grow toward each other underground and when all pretty blossoms have fallen from your branches, you find that you are one tree and not two. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. From the beginning of scripture, we hear these words. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And then God said, let there be. Amanda and Mark, God said, let there be. Your family and your friends have waited patiently for this day to come. <laughs> patiently. And we give you each credit for the preparation it took each of you to get to this point in your relationship. You've chosen a beautiful location for your wedding. Being outdoors makes this event particularly special. So we've moved beyond the confines of walls to the expansive world of the outdoors where God's creative work is more visible. This reminds us that you, both of you, are part of God's creative design, a part of God's let there be. Jesus said, have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. You see, God, your creator, made you to be two individual parts of a glorious whole. Nothing and no one must be allowed to come between you. Not jobs, not friends, not family, not even Kylie. <laughs> or, or the other children you may have one day. Hint, hint. <laughs> you are one. You are one. And God made you for oneness with each other, spiritual oneness, emotional oneness, and physical oneness. Glory. Enjoy each other. It is God's holy wedding gift to you. It's a gift that you should cherish. 
And so now as we look upon these beautiful surroundings, we remember that beauty is a creative process. Marriage is a creative process. And although we like to say that today you're getting married, as you leave this place, you will be entering the process of being married. For marriage to achieve its fullest, most unique and beautiful expression takes time, for it is a creative process. And so the key word for us today is creativity. You know, the human creature is tremendously resourceful. We're able to develop ideas, inventions, and amazing ways of doing things. And when it comes to marriage and relationships, however, many of us sudden seem to go brain dead. We're sometimes puzzled by the inevitable adjustments we must make in any relationship. So a good marriage requires conversation and play and prayer and conflict and reconciliation. It requires much negotiating. It must be heart to heart and face to face. No obligation is so important as the one to each other. So Mark and Amanda, you are creative, intelligent people. Use that creativity to be spontaneous, unpredictable. Use it to nurture your love. Use creativity to strengthen your bond. Use creativity to solve problems that arise. Use creativity to release you from conventional thinking and free you to explore the roads less traveled. Use creativity to deepen your love. As you do this, you will discover your marriage becoming something as beautiful as this. God's creation. God's let it let there be. You will find your marriage becoming strong, meaningful, beautiful, and absolutely most important component of your life. Amen. You can step a little closer to each other. Thank you. <laughs> so before God and your family and friends, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter into this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of what this new relationship brings, whatever the future holds. Mark Allen, will you have Amanda Elizabeth to be your wife? And will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Amanda Elizabeth, will you have Mark Allen to be your husband? And will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. <laughs> okay. So Mark, repeat after me. I, Mark, take you, Amanda, to be my wife. I, Mark, take you, Amanda, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Amanda, repeat after me. I, Amanda, take you, Mark, to be my husband. <laughs> I, Amanda. I, <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs> I, Amanda, take you, Mark, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, from this day forward, from this day forward, until death do us part, until death do us part. Okay. Can you come up here? Will you come sit with me? All right. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Kylie, I know you've been waiting forever for this day to come. We've all been waiting forever for this day to come. All right? Right? <laughs> so do you give your enthusiastic blessing to mom and dad as they get married today? Yes. Do you promise to do everything in your power to continue to support them in their lives together? Yes. Like helping out? <laughs> okay. 
Oh, you're thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> or saying I love you? Yeah. Oh, the figure. So if you, if you agree, can you give me a big yes? Yeah. All right. One last question. If you think this marriage is the greatest thing to happen to mom and dad and you today, give me a high five. All right. Oh, big high five. Okay. All right. Friends, these rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible grace which unites two hearts in love. And they are special in their significance because the circle of these rings is a symbol of the unending and enduring quality of love which Amanda and Mark are sharing today. So you are first. Mark, I... Can you, okay. Mark, I give you this ring. Mark, I give you this ring. In God's name. In God's name. As a symbol of all that we have promised. As a symbol of all that we have promised. And all that we share. And all that we share. Okay. <laughs> Amanda, I give you this ring. Amanda, I give you this ring. In God's name. In God's name. As a symbol of all that we have promised. As a symbol of all that we have promised. And all that we shall share. And all that we shall share. Push really hard. <laughs> Let us pray. Our loving God, creator and preserver of us all, bless Mark that he might share his love, strength, and protection with Amanda so that she might find in him character, patience, understanding, and faithfulness. Bless Amanda with tenderness and an inner beauty of soul that never fades and a holding fast to those godlike qualities which make marriage right and beautiful. Teach them, Lord, not to live for each other, but to live for you and for others. Give them a living faith which also sends them into a life with a purpose to do your will. Allow them enough tears to keep them tender, enough hurts to keep them human, enough failure to keep their hands firmly held in yours, and enough success to make them sure that they walk with you. Lord, may they never take each other's love for granted. Bless them in their work, in their companionship, in their sleeping, and in their waking. Let your Holy Spirit be upon them to keep them faithful to each other and to you that they may know the fullness of life as you intended for your human family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mark Allen and Amanda Elizabeth, because you have come to be joined in marriage and have expressed your commitment to each other in the sight of your friends and your family, and in the sight of God, by means of your vows and your rings, I declare that you are now husband and wife. You're a wife and husband. Go from this place with God's blessing, the encouragement of your friends gathered here today, the support of your family, and the bond of love by which you now are united to one another. Amen. Now you may kiss each other. <laughs> Family and friends, it's with great enthusiasm that I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Amanda Stauffer. We're going to hang out for a while, but you are all invited to go into the portico in between the buildings for a cocktail time, okay? And they'll be with you soon, okay? It's time.
if you 